Carla Jimenez is in the house. In the house. Yes. yes. So we're hoping that you caught it because because we, we can't play it. We can't play it. Uh-oh. But we feel like SNL has been nailing it two weeks in uh, a row. Yes. And there were two sketches mm-hmm. that were like, ah! like someone in that writers' room is like nailing it hard. There were three. What's the third? Oh, you wait, wait, the last one. Wait, wait. Okay, wait. so let's talk about the two. Yes. Let's start with the first. Okay. Second. So the first one was like a body positive clothing line. <laughs> yes. And then the name. Do we have the photo? I don't yes. want to give it away until we show it. Yeah. And chunk. <laughs> Because so, every woman is a like, chonk. You're, you're a goddess. <laughs> chonk. You, you're a goddess. You're a, you're, you're a princess. And you dress at chonk. <laughs> and then we have like, the, and, then the, and then they realize the name of it. And she's like, oh. Oh. oh, oh. I think my favorite from and there then, is when they're like, we like to dress your unique body. I know. <laughs> yeah. Unique. I know. Look at, look at Leslie. Leslie Jones is like, uh, not she having She heard it chonk. and she was like, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And then, like, they're talking about little kids yeah. having a line, and then the, the, the mom is just like, no, oh not chonk. Lady <laughs> Bryant is amazing. She's oh so freaking God. funny. It's so great. And then the button and then normal, it, yes. oh, and, then, and, and then go to our men's line called <laughs> normal, normal clothes. clothes. And, like, two different guys are like, hey, this shirt works for me. Yeah, this shirt works for me, too. It's like the exact same shirt and two totally no different body types. No problem here. Yeah. 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 Exactly, no problem here. I mean, honestly, that... Yeah. I was never so happy because it's so funny, funny because it's true. so true. Exactly. <laughs> and it really like nailed it right on the head. Yes. And the other one that I really enjoyed, yes. and I know Eva did too, and I'm sure you did too, was Black Jeopardy. Yes. When they had a category of big girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's Black Jeopardy, and then they went to the category, which is big girls for 200. And then here's the question <laughs> Skinny women can do this for you. And then. The answer Tom is, Hanks the answer, says, the is, not a damn what is not a damn thing? <laughs> and it was the correct answer. It no, but it was just so funny. Literally, I never laughed so hard. And I was like, oh, I oh, love so them. Good. so." And that whole thing was so brilliant. Oh, yeah. How they did all of that. I mean, yeah. that. And I think that what's amazing is that people don't think of there even being enough black people on SNL mm-hmm. to do a sketch like that, quite honestly. I know. And that it was like not only that, but brilliant on yeah. top of it. I love it. I love whatever way they're going. What was the oh, third yeah. one? A girl's Halloween. Did you guys just oh, miss that? Oh my <laughs> God, yes. That was that hilarious. That had me dying. <laughs> yes. Because it showed the before where everyone's getting ready. And, and she's everyone's like, like, this so is going to nice. be a magical <laughs> night. And they cut right to 4 a.m. where everybody's at their worst, most trash. Oh my God. I it's so it's true. So, it's so true. That was yes. the best. Yes. I, I love that. Oh my God. Yeah, like, they're getting ready in the beginning and they're like, you look so <laughs> yeah, pretty. Exactly. Why'd you let me wear this? <laughs> I mean, it's just so hilarious. So oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. The girls Halloween. Thanks but Aidy right. Bright, um, especially <laughs> when they cut to her and she's in the middle of the street oh, and, and her legs are spread open. <laughs> and they blare it out. And she's just crying. And yes. yes. Oh, and my God. That's amazing. That's genius. It was really, really genius. good. Yeah. And Kudos really true. Yeah. I mean, and very true. <laughs> maybe that happened to somebody I know. <laughs> maybe it's it, happened to a lot of people. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. At some point. People in this room. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Halloween was always such a big thing. And then, like, one day it became not one. Yeah, I, it, I know. Really it's so weird. funny. I used to love Halloween, and then like I'm an actor, and then I married an actor, and we <laughs> don't ever get dressed up for Halloween. Yeah, I, I mean it's, it's kind of weird. It's movie night. The it's literally scary. I mean, movie I night. Lo- yeah. no. For me, I love going. But I do love Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, I love all things scary. I love ghost stories and stuff. But when it comes to like going out on Halloween, and I think it's just like crotchety older me that I'm like I don't want to deal with people. Do you go to Disneyland for the big Halloween special? I have in the past. I've gone yeah. and it's actually really fun. No, but, I've, yeah. me and my sister went uh, mm-hmm. right before she got married I'm pretty sure is when she came out here yeah. and I took her uh, for the day and as we were leaving all the people were coming in for like the big night you Oh know? Yeah, like, yeah. the big costume night and yeah. that was really fun and I know oh. that you love dressing up like, oh, I do, I yeah. do, I do. But I just, like I said, it's like I just don't want to deal with the traffic and the people. So yeah. I'll I'll have a party at my house, which I've done, and I've had like an '80s theme party, which oh, I fun. love. And um, or I'll just be at home with a couple friends and watch horror movies. 
Real and then that sounds funny. like a blast. Yeah, I pretty so. much just go trick or treating with my with oh, my nephews. Nice. They, they live nice. right next to that, that, and it's fun. It's nice I to have that. them for sure. So, what do you have plans coming up? Like, are you are you doing something special? Like, even with the show, do you have any like, um, events well, with the show? This weekend with the show, um, there is an event called the Entertainment Weekly Pop Fest. It's their first year. And oh. I kind of equate it to like a Comic Con oh. because instead of uh, comics, it's all TV shows, all kinds of different TV shows and panels and things like that. Fun. And anybody can buy a ticket. Um, you, can, you can go to the EWPopFest.com. And that's and in where LA? is it? Yeah. It's at downtown at the Reef, and we are showing an exclusive preview of The Mick and Making History, which oh. are both the new shows on Fox. Oh. So that is comedies. really fun. That is yeah. really, see, stuff like that happens. I didn't even know. Yeah. yeah. We gotta get Why edge. aren't we having a panel? We, get edge <laughs> and we should we need have a panel. panel about that. We should have a chub panel. We need to have <laughs> chub panel. They need to have a chub panel. EW, get it together. This is what I'm saying, traditional media. Get it together. Yeah. Uh, Please. We're exactly what we're talking about. And that's about. where we're going to today, yeah. Carla. So uh, there were a couple of really, mm -hmm. like, positive steps in the communities that study weight yeah. and weight loss that have been happening and um, one, which by the way, I didn't even know this existed, but it was uh, like a, a workplace wellness magazine. Uh, yeah, like who, like, like a yeah. corporate wellness We're like, hey, magazine. let's send out a magazine to every single employee and waste paper in the entire environment because <laughs> that's what we need to do these days. Right, but but it's very interesting because obviously yeah. offices have this thing where mm -hmm. they, they promote wellness and, mm -hmm. and usually it is based on weight. Yeah. And this, this new report came out that was like, you know what, that's actually not helpful. And yeah. they have a quote in there that I found very interesting that... Um, yeah, results from a 2013 RAND study sponsored by the U.S. Departments of Labor and Health and Human Services shows that a participation in a one-year weight control program in the workplace would be associated with a body weight reduction of approximately one pound <laughs> for an wow. average adult at the end of the first year. By the fourth year, this would be reduced <laughs> to one quarter of a pound. <laughs> Oh, so wow. it works, guys. It sounds like it's <laughs> done deal. <laughs> I it's, mean, I'm down yeah. a quarter pound, guys. <laughs> it's not working. And they do. And there's the article itself is really, really great. It yeah. goes on to talk about all of the things that caring about weight does to your mentality, which mm -hmm. is people starve themselves all day at work and then go binge eat at night. Yeah. So it's like this like hunger, like this feast famine thing or famine feast actually. Mm -hmm. And bulimia is like a big deal. And like it just makes people end up feeling like crap about themselves and yeah. having depression. Like. It's so And what uh, what do you think? Like what what would you do if your employer was like, "So, Carla, um we're going to give you this pamphlet on yeah. losing weight." What how do you think that you would I'm going to be that? like, "Thank you. Where is the nearest trash can?" <laughs> uh, I don't need anybody in my business about my weight. That's my life and that's my choice, but I also believe that like you can you can go about things and do things healthy and and people don't know where you are Absolutely. in your journey if you want to call Very it that. True. But no, it's true. You 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 don't know. You don't know if that person who is at that weight that maybe you don't find acceptable, what if they've already lost 100 pounds and they're still going? Right. And they're happy about themselves until somebody has to come over and knock them down for it or something or right. or have their opinion. And right. so when I think about that and I think about people who want to put, I just, I get, like, I feel sad for them because I'm like, mm. what is wrong in your life that you need to come over to mine and make it bad? So just how about everybody just stay in your own box and well, live and your own And also, life? like, why is why is your employer getting, I mean, I get that, That's, like, your employer yeah. is interested in, like, not paying high premiums yeah. for health insurance, but right. really... It's none of your business. Like, am oh. I am I working hard enough for you? Am I getting the job done? That should be what you're right, assessing, right. not how and much I weigh. Right. With anything, if it's interfering with your work, there should be a discussion right. about your performance. Yeah. If it is not interfering with your work, why is there a discussion? Right. right. I absolutely agree. You yeah. know, ours is the only business that we have in our contract that we will maintain the weight that we are when yeah. they hire us. I mean, it's like there's like not really any other industry that does that except for <laughs> entertainment. Yeah. And um, but I do find it funny because I know that it's been controversial when people have been asked to lose weight for a role or, you know what I mean, or gain weight for a role. And mm -hmm. and I, I that's sort of bending the law a little bit, I think, because you're not really supposed to ask people to do that. Like that, I, I think that that's what our union really protect us from they have to get like a special mm. order that has said i have agreed to that 
Um, but let me ask you, has do you do such physical? I mean, just yeah. in this promo alone, Carla, you do such <laughs> hilarious physical comedy pretty much in everything you do. Uh, Is there anything that's like a boundary for you? Like, do you have a boundary like where you're like, no. Like, does that happen to you? The only boundary I would say I have is um, I will, you know, do things that will pertain to the character, but not to make fun of the character. It's not about pointing at me and saying, oh, she looks a certain way, or, you know, so let's laugh at that. But uh, it's more like, no, I'm doing this as, as the joke. Right. I, I'm not going to be the butt of the joke just for how I look. It's right. going to be the butt of the joke because of what I've done. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which so is why you're so brilliant, I don't, quite honestly. Yeah, so I won't take you. You know that there was some auditions oh, passed we around. Know. You know, in the oh, club. we know. Carla's in our club, guys. It was guys. absolutely disgusting, beyond disgusting, that people would put a character out there for the sole purpose to be pointed and laughed at. There was nothing else. Nothing, no, redeeming, nothing redeeming about the character. I know, and, yeah. and for a and, kid's show. And for a children's show. Yeah. Shame. Like you're children's teaching show. children to that okay. yeah. abuse people. Exactly. Yeah. Literally. And that it's hilarious. That it's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, that's, I, I, I love that because you do push envelopes, I think, with your yeah. comedy. And, and that's <laughs> like really exciting. Like, I mean, it's it, fun. And, and it's, and it's sort of, a strength that I feel like we don't get a lot of chances to have. And you sort of like have this like amazing career full of it. And I think that's so great. Well, they've been really, you know, the Mick, they've been amazing. I mean, this, I, I almost feel like I don't do as much as I will be. You will, you will be seeing coming up. Like it goes off the rails crazy in an awesome, funny way. But, um, I just think like it's, it's so freeing. They're, they are such a welcoming. I have so much trust in them mm. um, to be that free. Right. And I think that's the other thing. That's you have to key. feel comfortable. Yeah, totally. To do Listen, it. Do you wouldn't know what. I was telling this to Eve earlier. <laughs> when I was 23, I did my first movie. It was a short film yeah. that like kids who had just graduated from like Brooklyn Film School. <laughs> And it w because it was the lead, I felt like really like I have to do say yes to everything. <laughs> and I literally did everything for free you should never do in a movie. I totally had sex with a guy in a bathtub. Oh my he God. took his well, condom off. you didn't off. actually have sex. Well, no, I didn't do a porn, Eva, but still, <laughs> you do get more money when you have sex with someone in a movie. And then I, <laughs> oh, you should at least have a closed set. And then he took his condom <laughs> off and literally hit me in the eye with it. There was a scene where there was no. a donut and uh, and a detective hits the table and she hits the donut and the donut squirted in my eye. We took one take of it and it actually went inside my eye. And then my parents don't know about this, by the way, because I've never they do shown now. this to I them. know. So they Hi. don't look it up, mom and Mr. dad. Mr. and Mrs. But don't my brother up, and my best friend up. came up to Brooklyn to watch it in a film festival and they literally were like traumatized. They were like, what did you just make us watch you do? Like it was hilarious because the kicker was <laughs> she was a cannibal. I was a high school cannibal who wanted to be the cheerleader so badly that she ate the head cheerleader, but she did it pussy first. That's all I'm going to say to you. So I, I love how you that, that, that's all you're going to say, but that's everything. That is everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I, <laughs> I had like did simulated like lesbian sex also in a movie for free. Mom like, and dad, what is go wrong check me? it out. It's the best. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> but that was how my career started. So I, I no. admire that you have boundaries. I obviously <laughs> gave it all away, gave the milk away for free at the beginning. Uh, but I'll <laughs> no. Well, I wanna, no, I want to ask start? you another question. Good. Oh, too yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, too yeah. bad. Hi, guys. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I want to ask you yeah. about um, a lot of your characters, you have an accent. How do you mm -hmm. feel about that? Like, are you? Um, I've done characters without an accent. And I've done characters with it. And I actually, I embrace it a lot because um, I basically find myself doing my mom. Mm. And mm. I mean, there's nothing better than paying homage to your parents, who you find very funny. And um, I think that I think that it if it works for the character, then I'm okay for it. I'm it's okay. It doesn't bother me in the least. I would. I wish I could do an homage to my mom, but <laughs> my parents are deaf, and you, God forbid <laughs> you can hear and you play a deaf character. Oh. Let me oh, tell you, that is so like a know. super no-no. I mean, I like barely will be an interpreter on uh, in, yeah. in, in a show because I'm like, it's like a crazy oh, kind of thing. Like I'm just like, community. oh, it, it, I mean, it's really it's touchy subject. Yeah. Like if if you don't interpret the way they think you should interpret, then it's like, how dare you? 
You oh, signed yeah. with a letter instead of AS. I mean, it's just, it's kind of yeah. crazy. Well, I got to be in a play that. And you paid homage to your mom? I paid homage to my grandmother, technically. Oh. Oh. But quite honestly, it was my mother. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone kept being like, oh my God, it's so your mother. Because my accent, yeah, it's really good, guys. I tell you, I mean, what, if I, did a, what if I did a deaf accent? I love, I, that's like my favorite thing <laughs> when my mom talks is to like say it back to her. My mom has a cochlear so yeah. she can kind of hear and she's, it's like her favorite thing Aww. for me to like talk back to her. She'll say something to Peter like, she'll be like, oh, pay the law, oh, pay, <laughs> oh, pay the law, Peter. You do it, pay, oh, pay the law. And I'm yeah. like, oh, it's what she sounds oh. like. I know, so, I love that you do that to her face. <laughs> She loves it. Like, oh, but, and I love she has it. Your like, mom is her, her mother is hilarious. Oh, my mom girl. is hilarious, and my mom has such a great sense of humor. But seriously, I, that's like one of my favorite things is like yeah. making fun of her. Like last night, she was she laughs. <laughs> she laughs. She always like. She, so last night the Cubs played. Yes, and they were winning. But my mom likes to just like rib Peter a lot. <laughs> like oh whatever. So then um, so then she'll like laugh to herself like. <laughs> 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 and so then we'll laugh like. <laughs> and then she's laughing because we're laughing like her. It's the best. That's really uh, cute. Love you, mom. That's really cute. Well, thank you so much for being here. Tell oh. us where yes. we can find you, how we can follow you on Snapchat. Oh. Tell the people so there's no more confusion. Okay. Yeah, Cause because cause I couldn't. I'm <laughs> following some other Carla. <laughs> well, if you want to follow me instead of that, I um, you can find me on Twitter, Carla Jimenez at Twitter. Um, I'm on Instagram, Carla Law seventy four. Uh, that's Carla L A seventy four. Um, and Snapchat I think is. Carla LA 74 as well. No, I think it's just Carla LA. Is it Carla La? I think it's just okay. yeah. <laughs> but you can you can find I think I hope you can find me. I am also even know. finding uh, following <laughs> another Carla Jimenez on Snapchat. <laughs> not right. Follow many Jimenezes till yes. you get to me. But, Excellent. Um, Excellent. And on Facebook. And you know. what do you know? Do you have the dates for the Mick? Yes. So it premieres um, uh, New Year's Day, and and then. Um, on Fox after the double header, and then it will move January 3rd to its time slot, which is 8.30 behind New Girl. Oh, that's great. And what day is that? Is that Thursday? Tuesdays. Tuesdays, Tuesdays oh. at 8.30. Tuesdays. Tuesdays at 8.30. Oh, I cannot night. wait. Yeah, I, I cannot can't wait. wait. Oh. We're so happy for you. So yes. well deserved. <laughs> we love that you're representing, girl. <laughs> yeah. Can't Thank wait to see you on red carpets and things and uh, twirling it out. She does yeah. twirl it out, y'all. She does. A little bit. <laughs> Plus this.